What's up, everybody? It's Dynasty the Mirror, Search for Uhuru. Good morning to you all, Grand Rising. Uh, happy New Day, as uh, we say in some parts of the world. Um, but I wanted to, uh, today's message is, you know, we have to, no matter where we're at in life, uh, if, we if we believe we're underperforming, uh, if we believe that we're not receiving our blessings soon enough or quick enough or fast enough, we still need to celebrate the successes of others. Why? Because what one man can do, another man can do. What one man can do, you can accomplish as well, no matter what it is. So me and my friend, my Liberian friend, we're having a conversation last week. You know, we both were saying how we just feel like we're not where we're supposed to be in life. You know, me, I'm never content. Um, I'm never satisfied. You know, I'm a firm believer in you use your mental powers to attract what you want. If you're not happy, if you're not satisfied, you, you use your willpower to get shit done. Excuse my language. And so then we were saying, and this is no, in, in, in no way are we being jealous or envious. But, you know, sometimes you see people succeeding, which is great. And you celebrate their successes. But then you're like, I know that I'm more talented than that person. And that's in no way is be, are you, am I being jealous or envious, but I'm just, I'm ultra competitive. That's just my nature. I play sports, I do sales, I just like to win. But you still have to celebrate that person who's succeeding in what you're trying to, who's succeeding in the same field as you. Even though you're not there yet, you still have to celebrate that person because you will experience that as well. You have the potential to experience that success as well. And then also too, it just might take a little bit longer to get to where you're trying to go. And that's not a bad thing, that's a good thing. Because we also have to embrace the journey. We have to embrace the process. And in that you become a testimony. You have a story to tell. So don't necessarily rush the process. Embrace it, enjoy it, love it. And then what do you do? You become a testimony to others on how to succeed, on how to be successful, on how through being patient and staying steadfast and staying focused and staying on your purpose and not getting distracted, you know, you were able to succeed what you were able to, you were able to succeed in what you were trying to achieve. So that's why you have to celebrate the success of others and be sincere about it. Because also too, that person uh, might contain or might have certain, I would say rules or tips, certain tips and advice that they can offer you in order for you to be successful as well. So for, for people who are uh, successful in the same field that you're trying to succeed in, that you're trying to succeed in, reach out to them. Don't let that ego get in your way. Sometimes, you know, we allow the ego to to shut us off or to shut us down, and we don't want to reach out to those who are successful. It's not ego; it's we go. So, people who are successful in the same field that you're trying to be successful in, reach out to them, celebrate them, congratulate them, big up, big up them, shout them out. Because you will want people to do the same thing to you once you're successful. I'm all about reciprocation. That same energy you give to them, that same energy you'll receive too. Because I guarantee you, that individual, you know, he or she appreciates the random messages inboxes um, you know in the, on their social the post the comments they appreciate that and they're thankful so again celebrate the success of others and you will be celebrated as well one day that's the message for today until next time family Dinosaur Search for Huru peace